Uh, Ken, Steve Bannon was indicted last year on these charges. He and his lawyers have had differing messages on exactly the role that Bannon played in this attack. So just first off to set the scene, can you remind us really how he got to this point and what we can expect to see this week? Hey, Morgan. Well, we got here because Bannon defied a congressional subpoena for his testimony and for documents. And what the committee really wanted him to talk about was his presence at, at really what amounts to the war room for the big lie. Uh, the day and in the days before January 6th, he was at the Willard Hotel, not far from me, with Rudy Giuliani and some other people. And they were calling state electors. They were putting pressure on Mike Pence. They were allegedly trying their best to try to overturn the election and get, make something happen on January 6th. And the day before January 6th, he went on his radio show and, and suggested that he had some idea that something big was going to happen the next day. So the committee wanted to talk to him about it. He has refused. He's been indicted. They're picking a jury in that courthouse behind me. We've got three jurors so far. Um, uh, many of the legal defenses that he wanted to assert in this case have been blocked by a judge appointed by Donald Trump. So it's, it's a pretty cut and dried case. And don't take my word for it. Those were the words of a prospective juror who was struck uh, for cause by Bannon's lawyer. But um, the real question here is, is Bannon going to go through with this? Because he's facing a minimum of 30 days in jail wow. and a maximum of a year on each of these counts. Um, and so uh, we're going to see what happens as this week unfolds. Well, Ken, we know the January 6th committee holding another hearing this week in primetime Thursday night. Bannon's trial, it could actually be over by then. So how much could the outcome of the trial affect whether other witnesses, we're talking Peter Navarro, Mark Meadows, whether they will ultimately comply? I, not that much, I don't think. I mean, in one sense, this trial was a deterrent effect for other witnesses. So it was sending a message. You better comply. You could you could go through this. This is costing Bannon a lot of money. But his nobody believes that he the committee is going to get his testimony now that he's being criminally prosecuted. And Peter Navarro is also under indictment, which pretty much forecloses his testimony. Now, um, Mark Meadows and Dan Scavino have also been cited uh, in contempt of Congress, but the Justice Department has declined to bring cases against those men, perhaps because the issue with executive privilege and some other legal issues are, are more complicated than in the Bannon case. But um, look, the committee has lots of different ways to get information. And what we're seeing from these hearings is that a lot of people are cooperating, even if, like Mike Flynn, they go before the committee and assert the Fifth Amendment. Um, and, and part of the reason is probably because of what's happening in the courthouse behind me. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.